Hello traders, have you ever noticed whenever you're looking at someone else's trading and how they make it look so simple and how they make it look so effortless, how you look at their entries and, and it, it seems as if the market just, as soon as they execute their, their trade, it's as if the market just immediately runs in their direction. But then when you look at other traders, it's as if they're struggling. It's as if as soon as they open their position, the market actually goes straight to their stop loss. And maybe that, that might be you. Maybe you might be experiencing that at the current moment. So in this video, I'll show you how to be on the right side of the market. And of course, guys, I'm not the greatest or the best trader out there, but I've been trading this way for a long time. I've been trading with fundamentals for since 2021, let's say August 2021. And I've been repeating or consistently getting the same results or similar results time and time again. So like I said, in this video, I'll be showing you how to actually be on the right side of the market direction. So to get started, uh, we'll be looking at a an oil trade that I actually executed last week uh, on the 11th of March uh, 2024. And uh, I was able to currently that position is floating over 500 pips, right? And it's not even two weeks into me holding that trade. So the first thing to actually getting you on the right side of the market is for you to understand what you are trading. And I've done this video before, right? Or I've touched on this point before when I spoke about commodities. So what you're currently seeing on my screen is a portion of the video that I did a couple of weeks back, uh, of which I'll actually link the video up on top so that you can watch that video if you missed that video. But I was talking about commodities. What are commodities and what actually drives commodities? So as you can see, we have commodities are driven by supply and demand. So that's the first thing, right? So the first key component here for you to be on the right side of the market direction is for you to know what you are trading or understand what you are trading. Know what drives what you are trading. So in this case, commodities are driven by supply and demand. And then the second thing would be what affects the supply and demand of that, of those specific commodities. So in this case, we'll be focusing on oil. So on oil, I, I obviously outline that you focus on OPEC. What is OPEC doing, right? That is an the organization of petroleum exporting countries. What are they doing? Are they increasing their supply or are they decreasing their supply? Because if they're decreasing their supply, then it means that it will keep demand elevated and that has the potential of what? Of pushing oil prices higher, right? So that is the first thing that aff affects the, the supply or demand side of oil. And then the second thing would be geopolitics. And in this case, I've been talking about this from time and time again, that currently based on the geopolitical landscape or the wars that we are having, they are having a direct impact on oil, specifically the Middle East tensions that we're seeing uh, that escalated specifically from the, the war between Hamas and uh, Israel. Right. And now there's more. Other, there's other regions in the in the Middle East that are now involved where we have the Houthis uh, disrupting uh, like oil, oil supply, disrupting the actual traveling of ships in the Red Sea, some of which they actually carrying what they carrying oil to certain countries. So if they are now being disrupted, what does it do? It disrupts the supply chain and it also di disrupts what's the supply of oil. And then if it disrupts the supply of oil, then that will keep what oil prices higher. So that is the second component. So first component, understand what drives what you are trading or understand what you are trading. And then once you know what is actually driving what you are trading, in this case, commodities, then understand what actually affects the drivers, right? So in this case, what is driving oil supply and demand? What affects the supply and demand of oil? I've just listed those two. So now when you have that understanding, you are clued up on the direction. This is how you get on the right side of the market. This is how you get on the right side of the market, right? So now we're going to jump quickly to the actual trade that I executed. Starting off first, we're going to go to go go through a screenshot. Uh, this is a screenshot that I shared in the group. Obviously, before I bought the trade, this was Monday last week. I obviously gave them a clear signal or a clear, yeah, a clear signal beforehand 
that I am we are looking for possible long positions on crude oil as well as Brent crude oil and then I'll send an update if we get an entry obviously we were we were prepared well in advance on the fundamental side of why we are looking to buy oil and of course like I said the war that is currently happening that is escalating further it's not getting better by the day it's actually getting worse by the day so that means that what that means that it keeps our oil trade alive because the worse the or the, the more the war progresses or escalates then the the more stronger the buy trade on oil actually gets right so that is what we are focusing on and then of course i told them to buy to buy brent crude oil and then stop loss at 81.48 and then this was the actual entry right so this was the actual entry as you can see buy and then stop loss was at 81.48 and then if we look at where we are today if we look at where we are today this is the actual position right so the screenshot that you just saw was the four hour if you can see if i go into the four hour and i slightly zoom in this is where it was after this four hour candle but this is where we are currently right so price immediately shot up from my entry right so this is what i meant when i said some people make trading look so easy they getting this good entries but if you want to be able to get these good entries focus on understanding the fundamental components of what you are trading understand what drives you at what 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 are the drivers of what you are actually trading in this case like i said since it's oil it's supply and demand and then what actually affects the supply and demand once you have those two things clear and you understand them crystal clearly then you will be able to make informed decisions then trading or then at that point you will start make make trading look what easier to someone else who's actually watching you trade or, or someone who's actually looking at your trades right you make it seem so easy uh because it seems as if you're always at the right place at the right time but it's all because you you have what you have that fundamental understanding of what you are trading so this is how you actually get on the right side of the market and if we go into the weekly time frame uh this is currently the second week of me holding the position so i entered the position last week monday as you saw on based on the screenshot and this is currently the second week of me holding the position today is only monday so it's only been what seven days of me holding the position and already i've made over 500 pips in a few days and all of that boils down to what boils down to understanding fundamentals understanding what i am actually trading and of course if you look at this video more clearly there's a video that i actually did as well i'll also link it up on the top uh, on the top right here when i actually explained to you guys how if i'm looking to buy i'm looking to buy below the open and all of that so i'll also link the video on top so that you can also reference or re yeah reference on that video in terms of how i actually got my entries but this is just what i wanted to bring to you guys that this is how you actually get to be on the right side of the market by understanding what you're trading before you actually get to executing your position right and there's also another trade that we currently have running uh which is uh on the forex market side uh as you can see here this was gbpch if this was on tuesday so on monday we had oil on tuesday we had a gbpchf buy trade and of course this is also based on fundamentals uh in terms of why we're buying the pound and why we are selling the swiss franc of which i won't really get that much into it but just to give you guys a summary the swiss franc are poised to probably be one of the first central banks to cut interest rates because their inflation is currently what their inflation is currently below what below the target or which is the target is two percent their inflation is currently at 1.2 percent gbp inflation is pretty high double the double the two percent target so for them they are most likely to keep their interest rates higher for longer and of course when we look at the economic indicators that are supportive of health of the economy they are actually moving more and more into the positive side that being pmis they way above 50 and they're growing so that that is painting what a good picture for the uk economy moving forward so that is that was the fundamental reason behind why i was buying so i understood what drives the currencies and in this case interest rates inflation and then what affects that based on the current scope of what was happening so going back to those two points and then i gave the guys the signal to actually buy and of course 
this was uh, after our entry was triggered and of course our target was 1.13149 right so if we currently go into the actual trade we can see as well that from our entry uh, let's go into the four hour so that it will be easier so as you can see as well from our entry price shot straight up so it goes back to the fact that you need to have an understanding of what you are trading and what actually drives the specific asset class that you are trading and what are some of the things that actually affect this the specific drivers positively and negatively so that you can make informed decisions and be at the right place at the right time right so i just wanted to bring this video to you guys and to give you that uh, understanding of how to actually be uh, on the right side of the market and of course do not forget on friday the 22nd of march i'll be hosting a free webinar uh, where i'll be where you will actually get the opportunity to learn how to swing trade successfully using fundamentals so essentially what i've just explained to you guys now is just a glimpse of some things of some things that i'll be going over in that free webinar it's on friday and if you have not yet signed up feel free to do so by clicking the first link down in the description it's a free webinar guys so please share it with other people who might also benefit from it it is free and unfortunately the only way you can actually attend is if you book your free ticket by clicking on the link in the description below so that you can reserve your spot and then you'll be able to get access to the actual webinar so it's a free webinar where you will be learning how to swing trade successfully using fundamentals and it will be on friday the 22nd of march uh 2024 at 8 p.m south african time right so set a reminder and also don't forget to click the link in the in the click the link in the description so that you can actually reserve your spot and of course as always if you found value from this video or you found this video to be helpful hit the like button and share the video and of course if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe if you found if you find value from this uh, channel if not then there's no need for you to subscribe obviously and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified when i do upload what another video right so probably this gbpchf trade by tomorrow it would have probably gotten to our or reached our target because oil has already reached our first target i'm just holding now because like i said as long as the fundamentals are still telling me to hold based on what is happening in the middle east and based on what is happening in terms of opec because opec as well they also actually reduced their oil supply or oil output which means that they are reducing the supply side so that should keep oil prices elevated right and then we also had um the actual uh, agency for oil uh they those those or energy energy agency they actually uh also forecast an increase right in the demand of oil in 2024 so all those things are what are positive because they are affecting what the driver of oil which is supply and demand right so just wanted to put that out there and of course guys don't forget to actually reserve your spot for the webinar on friday and i'll see you in the next video